Bye guys. So, we're um, getting a few new animals. In fact, we're getting several new animals. Um, several thousand, in fact. Um, we had planned to get them this year, but with everything that happened, we thought we were going to have to put it off until next year. And then we were looking on a local Facebook group and we found someone local who had some for sale. So this weekend we are making preparations and tomorrow we're going to go and get some. can go along that fence. Yeah. <laughs> so we've chosen our spot for them. They're going up in this top corner up here. Um, the allotment's just over there and the house is in the village over there. So they're, they're within walking distance of the house um, and we come up here at least twice a day to check the allotment, to check the chickens at the allotment anyway. So we'll be able to check on them very frequently. Um, but they're far enough away from the allotment that we can just look at them and not have to go and, and really bother them, which is always a good thing. Um, yeah, we're really, really excited about getting these guys. We're taking the hive to the guy who, who we're buying them off tomorrow, and then he's going to keep the hive for a few days, get them settled in the hive, and then we're bringing the whole hive back rather than just bringing the nuke. Apparently that's the way he prefers to do it, so we're we're going with him. He's <laughs> he obviously knows a bit more about bees than we do, so <laughs> it's not really difficult. Everything we know about bees is from one one day beginners bee course, a few bee books, and many many bee YouTube videos. Um, but yeah, we're really excited. I'm not holding my breath for any honey this year. But it would be nice to get get a little bit of honey off them. And I think if the weather picks up again, there'll be plenty of pollen. They're up there, you can see the heather in the background, just on the other side of the fence, it's heather. So come July and August, that will be absolutely purple with heather. And there's so much pollen on that. Um, good load of trees. We've got a load of rowan trees, silver birch, um, elderflower, lots of willow so plenty of tree pollen as well for them and they are close enough to the village that anyone in there who's got flowers they'll be able to go and forage the pollen off them so i don't think there'll be a shortage of pollen for them i'm just hoping it works out i'm hoping we don't get stung too many times um it does get a bit windy up here especially in the autumn and um, it's just where we live it's a bit of a wind tunnel if you look down this valley the wind really really blows it's mostly a westerly wind and it really blows strongly down the valley so we're building a bit of a fence and we're going to put some wind netting around and probably plant some willow probably plant some willow around it as well to, to give it a bit of extra cover um, and we're putting some permanent sort of benches just a couple of posts in the ground with some rails across to be able to tie the, the hives down onto with the ratchet straps so they don't blow over. Um, but yeah, just one for now. Um, I'm hoping in time, I had four in my mind as the overall number, the husband has six, so we'll probably go for five or six. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. Get a little crack and Daddy? Daddy? Yes. No. Why? For the windbreak. The windbreak? Oh. Well, wait. Stop! Whoa! Hi, Trouble. Trevor. What are you doing? Going to spray it down. You being a walrus? You being a walrus? No. Go and be a walrus. 
Down. How many blokes does it take to get a bit of rail straight? Yes. So we've got this bit here built, um, we reckon this will fit two hives on it. The idea is it's going to sit on these two long bars in between these two crossbars so we can put a ratchet strap over each way to hold it down nice and firmly. Um, that back bit there we're going to put some windbreak netting and across between those two posts we're going to put some windbreak netting. That bit that bit there is going to be a gateway and then they've got the woods over here we're probably going to put a box in that tree to try and collect any swarms um, either wild swarms or if they do swarm that's the first tree they'll come to so the idea is we're going to pop a box in there just to try and catch them if they're naughty um, so the allotment's just in the background down there by the pickup so they're close enough that we're up here at least twice a day every day um, so they're close enough that we can pop up here and just have a look and make sure that the hive's not been blown over or fallen over nothing's disturbed it, the bees are still coming in and out but we don't have to get so close that we have to rarely be in their faces um, we'll probably check them properly a couple of times a week maybe of course if I'm talking utter rubbish and I'm saying anything majorly wrong, please let me know. If you're a beekeeping expert, please let me know in the comments if I'm talking utter rubbish and I'm, I'm planning to do something completely wrong. Um, so yeah. Right, so um, I didn't take much footage today. Um, I just... We completely forgot, to be quite honest. Um, today we took the hive to go um, and see the guy we're getting the bees off. We, we took the hive and he's transferred the nuke into our hive, but he's keeping hold of it for a few days. Um, he's just said that's the way he prefers to do it. Um, they seem fairly chilled out bees. I was quite impressed with them. They, I mean, they, they, obviously they, they buzzed around us a bit when, when we opened up the nuke and had a look at them, but they, they didn't seem aggressive at all. The, the two men who were, were handling them weren't even wearing gloves. Um, so they seem fairly chilled out. They, they keep them in, in the centre of the town. So they're around people all the time. They're obviously not overly aggressive bees, which is a major plus. That was the one thing I was worried about, was having aggressive bees around the kids. So yeah, uh, all we did is we put our, our hive where the nuke was, transferred the frames over, put in some, some new frames, and and then we're going back on Wednesday morning to pick it up. He'll go, he'll, the, the guy we're getting them off will lock them in on Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning we'll go pick them up and put them up for the allotment. So excited. I can't wait. I can't believe I've actually got my bees. I had honestly given up on getting bees this year with the, the state of the world this year. I'd given up on it. I didn't think it was going to happen. I am so excited and so over the moon. I'm not sure if we'll get honey this year. I hope we get just a little bit, just a couple of jars. Um, but if we don't, you know, that's fine. We'll survive. Um, but yeah, bees. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, I'll bring you another one, obviously, Wednesday when we go to get the bees. That'll be a, another big video. Um, but as always, if you've heard anything I've said in this video that's been wrong and you've gone, oh, hang on, I wouldn't do it that way. I've been keeping bees since the year dot and I wouldn't have done it that way. Please comment down and let me know if I'm about to do something majorly wrong. Um, and of course, if you just want to say, say anything, just drop me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of our beekeeping adventures. And I will see you on the next video, guys. See you later. Bye.